Hey yo, and welcome to today's video. I'm going to be walking you through some animation replication, and the first thing we're going to be looking at is animontages. Now, animontages may not be the way you replicate animations in a game, but this is the very baseline of um, replicating any animation, really. It's like the most basic way to replicate any animation, let's say that. So I've got this uh, button which I was going to make do a vault animation, but it didn't, the root motion wasn't working for some reason. Are not the best animations in Unreal. Um, so ignore the it saying vault, it might be a bit confusing and there's vault everywhere in the, um, in the names of uh, things, but... Anyway, so press on. This is a force and update uh, node. And now this will um, force the uh, server to do whatever is after this node. So sometimes a server will go through and try and there'll be RPC calls that will get um, missed. This makes sure that the code, whatever is after this, is run on everyone's machines across the network or the the server sends out this message make sure it sends out this message um this is very important for server optimization which i can talk about in another video anyway so for this to work uh, i've done this switch has authority state to be a little bit more efficient because i'm on the authority i'm just calling multi uh, a multicast set movement mode right and this is so it stops the character moving and then i have a m a multicast to play a montage which is the animation montage which is the most basic way to um uh play an animation in unreal in my knowledge anyway and then so if it's a client using this then it's going to have to call from server to multicast because that's the only way it can spread the information around um when it's already the server, the server just needs to tell all the other clients. When it's a client, it needs to tell the server to tell all of the other clients because that's the server client model or the client server model. Sorry. Um, okay, this is a flip flop because when I press it again, it's going to set me to walking. Okay, um, let's test it out. So I should see on when I oh, I can't even move on my server. If I press space, it should be dancing. Why isn't it dancing? Hmm. Okay, for some reason, play and a montage does not want to work. So, I'm going to try doing play animation. That's got the thriller and a montage. It's got the play rate, which is not being used now. Let's see if that works. Okay, okay. For some reason, playing a montage did not want to work. So if I press this, he should be dancing for everyone else, which he does seem to be. He's, got, he's having a little boogie. We can all just start break dancing. And I wonder now if that will work with the um, current implementation of my animation blueprint. So let me just add that back. Come into here and I'm going to try to move. I can't move on my server. Start dancing. Boogie, 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 he's boogieing. The next thing I want to talk about is property replication. Now, as you can see, I already had the uh, animation blueprint working. So let me just pull that up so you can have an idea of how that is working. The main way to get replicating um, the animation state machine is to have it successfully use uh, variables that are replicating currently inside of a character or a um, pawn that the player is controlling. So if you take a look at this, it is calculating the from the velocity and the um, active rotation, these uh, variables. This is fine because um, the character's position and velocity is taken into account um, when the engine replicates the character movement because that's already built with replication in mind. Um, so these things will work on every single machine. But things like the actual, um, tr how does your character transition from idle to moving? How does that work? So for that to work, you're going to have to have a, a current state or you could do it with um, Boolean variables, but um, a, uh, a, an enum, if you don't know what that is, is a very good thing to use with the state the state pattern, which is what this is. Um, this is an animation state machine, a state machine pattern. Um, if you don't know what patterns are, then ignore me, but... So yeah, so I'm setting the current state which matches with the current state on the character. The character is replicating this state because uh, every time it's called, it's called on a server call 
and it's and this property is replicated. This variable is replicated. Um, that tells the engine to look for this variable every time it tries to replicate properties of this character of this pawn or whatever this um, object is. Okay, so for this doesn't this should really be on a has authority node because um, these variables are set to replicate, which actually they probably don't need to be. And, I, and and this is because if I get rid of this and I did this, the only reason I had them replicated was for the vault in mechanic, which is not working. So the reason this is fine to have these variables not replicated is because the event tick is called by server and client. And server and client have access to both all of these variables in their own way. Because the character component is uh, is replicated. Now these variable and now um each machine can calculate that this velocity velocity is greater than uh, the length of it is greater than three, so they can both set the variable, because both client and server is calling this. If I want to prove that to you, I could put a print here, and this is going to say client and server said hello like repeatedly. And if I get three of these guys up, you can see that they're, they're replicating the state. So uh, it's showing me that, that this character is now running around, it stops, running around. He can break dance. Oh my god, he didn't stop break dancing. But let's ignore that for a second. Um, yeah, so it's saying server hello, client hello, server hello. So saying they're both saying hello on this tick statement. So that proves that it's being set by both client and server. And when things are being set by both client and server, um, it's being set on their local machine. So it doesn't need to replicate. And it's actually more um, inefficient to have things that need to replicate. Obviously, things that need to replicate that don't actually need to replicate, making a replicate is actually, you know, not very efficient if that makes any sense. So whenever you can, and you recognize that you can get away with not making things replicate, you obviously should, because this code's running on everyone's local machine, so it works. If you, if I had a vault in state and I wanted to have, because that is what I had inside of here, I had a uh, animation plan whenever it was in the vault, vault in state. So if I were to actually show that to you, I could show it to you, but the animation wouldn't be very uh, nice, put it that way. Um, so now I actually want it to, um, I need it to replicate if I'm going to be doing this sort of uh, operation. So if I was to um, remove this, and every time I press the vault in thing, uh, every time I press the vault in button, it would call set my current state. And I want to set it to vault in. But for this to work, I also need to do um, if current state is not equal to vaulting. Uh, make sure this code doesn't set uh, walk in or idle. Um, and when I release, I'm gonna set it back to idle. Probably don't you don't need this for an update, but that was just an example I was trying to show. So now I'll come in and show. If I'm to press space, it will start doing the vaulting and it will stop. And it's showing on everyone's machine, as you can see on the other screens. It will loop though, if I hold it down, it will just start looping. Uh, this is the problem with this animation, by the way. I wanted it to keep the root motion, so that means whenever it finished the animation, it would finish in that position at the end, but it just, it just um, teleports back. But as you can see, it is replicating. And that's because of the property. Um, I'm replicating the property on a server RPC, so this is all you need to do, really. Um, you could test if this was switch has authority to be a little bit more efficient because you can do a less RPC calls this way because a server would just have to call, it could call this, straight up, just call this um, vaulting, like that. And you could do it for this one to be a little bit more efficient. Um, yeah, to avoid uh, wasting uh, an RPC call like that. Okay, so I'm in uh, one of my games that I'm working on currently. It's called Loch Ness. It is on Steam if you're interested. It's um, in a very buggy state at the moment. Um, there's only one person working on bugs, and that's me. And there's a very, it's a very um, 
It's one of our first games, so there's going to be a lot of bugs. One of our first games as a studio. So, I was going to show you how to smoothly replicate um, values across the internet and make animations look smooth in complex systems, which was a, uh, a comment that I got um, in the week, and I just wanted to show a system that uses a float, which could use, which just serves as a percentage. So this could be um, in some complex systems that you're trying, that you're making. Sorry, it's not a parkour system, by the way. The guy who made the um, the comment. So I'm going to sit in the passenger seat, and you can see that I'm in the passenger seat. If I look around, it actually looks all the way around and replicates this on the internet, on the network, sorry. As you can see, I'm looking around, I'm looking down, I'm looking up. It's replicating all these values, and all these values are percentages. Um, these are properties that are replicated, um, and then the animation blueprint uses these replicated properties. And that's what makes it work on the network. And you can see it's smooth, like, it's, it's, it's like I'm just playing a normal single player game on my client, it's not like lagging or anything when I turn, and it's replicating the... But, ah, you can see that eventually it does get desynchronized, which is actually a bug. But the reason for that is because um, I'm using network emulation, and... Because this is on a um, an RPC to update the value for the server, there's so much emulation, network emulation, which is um, uh, artificial network lag that is desynchronizing. So there is still work still to do for the system. But if it wasn't, I'm literally on like 500 uh, packet loss and stuff like that. So if there wasn't 500 packet loss, it would uh, keep synced up. So if I'm gonna quick, I'm gonna quickly show you in the passenger which we just were how this is working okay so we have two um, look axes here which you normally do tend to do for characters um, as you can see we're using a var I'm gonna focus on the X the the Y is exactly the same so for this var for this to work we need a camera left slash right float and this is coming directly from the the axis value it's getting added to the this variable Okay, as you can see, this is local. So this is happening on client and server, or just client. Actually, um, well, it depends on um, the actual uh, the role of the person playing. So if they're a client, they're a client. If they're a server, they're a server. This is what it's going to be called. So server and client. So if it's a client, this is all going to be set on the client. So this is a local variable being set. Then it comes to a switch has authority check. So this is where it get. Um, desynced because of the packet loss because this is using the RPC to update it to everyone else. So if it's a, if it's a server, it's updating just to, multi, to everyone else. If it's a client, it's updating to the server, it's telling the server to tell everyone else about this variable. Okay. And now it's checking here the um, UNet role um, and it's making sure it's not equal to uh, let's get local role. So returns how much control the local machine has over this actor. Okay, so on everyone, it's telling everyone, update this variable. But do not update the, the person that is controlling this character. So this person's um, camera left and camera right variable is being set locally, but it's telling everyone else to update this variable to the same as what theirs is but it's doing it over an RPC, which is not reliable, by the way, because it's being um, repeatedly called very fast, which is not great, but this is how, that's what I'm saying, this is uh, a complicated system that we wanted to feel right for the player, so it didn't feel like there was any lag, because before there did feel like there was lag for the player, but we also wanted it to smoothly replicate for everyone else on the server. So to do this, you do the, the calculation locally, but you also do the calculation for everyone else but this is not actually set in the same variable this is set in a target but it's doing it in the exact same manner of adding it to a variable and setting this variable okay then after you've done then after that's happened it calls a non-rpc but this is calling this very this event is getting called for everyone so everyone calls this this function 
and this function is called by everyone and it basically just interpolates a value smoothly based on the speed which you can play around with um the faster it is the probably less chance it will be um desynced but then the faster it is it might look a bit faster than it actually uh is for the client on the machine so it takes a little bit of playing around with i find i find like five is a very good value um but this sets the variable that we set locally but because of this it stops that variable being set for the current player who is playing this character um so yeah so this is how it smoothly updates for everyone else it's calling a multicast that updates a target which is the exact same um calculation and it's been called straight after it's been it's set the local variable for the current character who's playing this pawn for the current player who's playing this character and then it calls an rpc to update the target for everyone else except for this player and then this smoothly updates and then how is this variable used it's not that important okay so this animation blueprint is used for both the passenger and the rower and it's checked by this variable okay so this this is called every um uh frame that updates the blueprint animation it updates the head rotation and it does a lot of complex um stuff inside of here but as long as you replicate the properties outside in a smooth way like i did like see the way that I was purposely using the debt role to not update uh, to change the variable for that person, but it was updating that variable for everyone else. But as you can see, the main point is this variable is the variable it uses. This variable has been updated for everyone, but this variable has been smoothly updated for everyone other than the client who is using this character, because this this variable is being updated locally um, without the need of interpolation for the player it's kind of complicated to explain okay so this animation blueprint is used for both the passenger and the rower and it's checked by this variable okay so this this is called every um uh frame that updates the blueprint animation it updates the head rotation and it does a lot of complex um stuff inside of here but as long as you replicate the properties outside in a smooth way like i did like see the way that i was purposely using the debt role to not update uh, to change the variable for that person but it was updating that variable for everyone else but as you can see the main point is this variable is the variable it uses this variable has been updated for everyone but this variable has been smoothly updated for everyone other than the client who is using this character because this this variable is being updated locally um, without the need of interpolation for the player. It's kind of complicated to explain. If you have any other questions, anything like that, and I hope I uh, actually helped the guy who commented down below uh, about replicating animations, and I hope you all have a good day.